And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last meme tier Monday deck of the day. We're going to be playing some Sivir Zed. This is going to be um, an, an aggressive Ionia deck where we are going to be buffing up our units with Greenglade Elder. We're going to be going wide and we also have for a finisher, we have some Shurima Spell Shield units with Sivir and Ruin Runner plus Dawn and Dusk. So Dawn, like Dawn and Dusk, the thing about it is like whenever you try to uh, copy one of your allies, it is slow speed, so they can remove your ally in response. But if you have things with Spell Shield, like Sivir and Ruin Runner, it's going to make that a lot more difficult to remove. And so that, that can work out well there. I got one Fae Guide in here that can grant Sivir Elusive. So like if you have a leveled up Sivir that's attacking, you can give everybody else Elusive. That could be pretty cool. Or, you know, give Zed Elusive. That's also another good thing to give elusive or even just like you know we go green glade elder on turn three fey guide it and give it elusive so it doesn't uh so it can uh, be able to attack but anyway we got star sparring student and green glade duo early on um and so whenever we're summoning our allies we're giving these things plus one plus one or plus one plus zero accordingly and we have lots of ways to you know summon a lot of allies with not very much mana. Like Doomkeeper gets you two allies for the one mana. You know, whenever Zed attacks, it puts another ally into play. Or again, the Dawn and Dusk could help us go wide as well. Should be a pretty fun one to play. We're going to have uh, Homecomings in here for interaction to slow our opponent down. And Retreat Return, which is awesome with Greenglade Elder. Yeah, could be a pretty cool deck. All right, so here we go. Let's, let's play some Sivir Zed. We're gonna go play our five games over in normal with it being meme tier day. All right, Lulu Zoe. This is gonna be a fun match. Mulligan, Mulligan. We'll keep these two. Ooh. Okay, well, everything costs three not the best. Traditions are lost and not passed on. Out of the way. Alright, so we both have our, our slow setups. They got out of the way. That's going to be a good setup card. So, kind of assuming they're going to be playing maybe some Daybreak cards. Yeah, we got some buffed up units now. We got some buffed up units. All right, let's go on the Zed. One sprint for each crab I, saw today. I guess I probably should have just played Sparring Student right here. This way, girl. Yeah, that makes more sense. So yeah, these buffs are permanent. So we'll just trade here. I can learn from watching yeah, cause I should have played Sparring Student last turn, so I could have started with Mentor, and so the Sparring Student could be a 2 2 already. Please no Equinox. Don't Equinox my sparring student. I recall my training. 
All right. Let's attack. And we'll go ahead and kill this Lulu. So this is another uh, something that's going to be entering. So it's going to buff that up to six. We're going to have six, 11, 14. Ionia cards are pretty cool. All right, so we're at 34 out of 35 for Sivir. Ooh, that, that's a good retreat return. So we're going to be able to kill the Zoe. No, come on, attack with Zoe. Why would you not attack? Don't worry about this burst speed return that I have in hand. Nothing bad can happen. My life will be ordered. Oh, you're in for it. Retreat return. Being continually great. So is Greenglade Elder. And there we go, that's a win. <laughs> Wanna know? We had the full unit hand for Elder, buffing up everything. Okay. We're still gonna want lots of units again. Kindred Karma. This is going to be difficult for us to outgrind them. Kindred Karma is a Go Hard deck, and that's why I don't. I don't really want Turn One Sparring Student against Go Hard. I'm going to keep these two. Dawn Dusk. I would have liked like this would have been a Green Glade, a good Green Glade Elder matchup. Really, that's that's what. If I could have chose, I would want Green Glade Elder and, and uh, Retreat for the Elder. Yeah, get these things out of because they're going to be all these Gohards and Withering Whales just just mow down my units. I can learn from watching you. My training is unconventional. I'm gonna be aggressive. The dark beckons. Ah, the elder was coming with that. I wish I wasn't aggressive. I wish I would have had just all <laughs> have all these in hand still. Okay, I can bounce something. Wow, their hand must not have been very good. Wow. That's a victory. All right, we're going to have another Kindred deck. My opponent's going to put definitely put up much more of a fight than last time. And uh, yeah, we keep these. And these Shadow Isles decks are, just keep on looking really, really good. At least they're not attacking for ten for ten on turn two. Like what usually happens when I play against Shadow Isles. I wanna play something, but I also just wanna pass. <laughs> you know? I kinda of just wanna take the pass. I don't want like a random blighted caretaker killing me and stuff. 
see what we see. So, I am the blade in the darkness. Are you supposed to be here? So we drew a quick sand, so we got to use the, so we're gonna be able to use that spell mana. Them still taking what 13 down to three. That's not very much life against elusives, which I may or may not have an elusive in hand. So, if they mark anything with the kindred, yeah, like they think they're doing that to mark something. I'm just going to be able to pick it back up. Be a shame if that kindred fell in some quicksand. And that's going to be game. We're 3-0. I know, this This is my kind of deck right here. Definitely my kind of deck. Alright, Noxus Sharima. Let's see how we do. Alright, good start. Good start. You can see sending the Sivir back. Just a little expensive. I'd rather have Sivir than a second Zed. Definitely wish we had the attack token on at turn three. Ooh, Greenglade duo. The Yordle here's with me. Sharpen the blades, secure the kill. Mm. Places to go, people to be. I can learn from watching you. For glory, you're mine. All right, so they dealt ten damage for LeBlanc. You'll thank me later. You'll soon understand my methods. So definitely worried about bloody business. All right, cool. No bloody business. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. So the Sivir will be able to block an inspiring mentor for free, but that means it's not blocking something else. It's like if they block inspiring mentor and a four-four, they're taking sixteen damage and they lose. I guess they can't really block. Make it worth my while. Can't really block a two-one with Sivir. Going down to one with that block. <laughs> yeah, they're they're done. See you later. None escape their shadow. All right, GGS, four zero. All right, as you all know, whenever we have our meme tier Mondays, if we are 4-0 with our deck in normal, that means it's too good for normal, so we're going to be heading on over to ranked tier with Sivir Zed. Give it the ultimate uh, test over in Master's Rank. And we get some Zoe Lee Sin. Zoe Lee Sin can be really good against aggro. If they have, you know, like their 1-3 and stuff like that, they can be great against aggro. Um, I kind of want to keep Homecoming. I also, I, A, I don't want to keep any four mana cards. B, I kind of want to keep Homecoming for like a lease in, but that would be in a long time. Let's just not keep the four mana cards. Ah, look at this reality. Look how it's so far My training is unconventional. 
So the Zoe's really nice because Zoe just gets in the in the way of the Green Blade duo. My plan is turn three Zed, turn four, go like student, Dune Keeper, plus like whatever else we draw and, and go wide like that. It's a good hand though. This is the you know, like this is the first time I played against a deck that have like good one mana units. I think that the 2-1 challenger is definitely a possibility. We don't know what the uh, celestial card they got. And so if I just play Zed, 2-1 challenger is a pop, you know, don't want that to happen. What's he doing over there? These celestial cards are so cheap, you know, like they, they just get to put out such good blockers. Ugh. This is tough for us. Okay, so they didn't find a, a one mana blocker there. They didn't use the gem on the charger to be able to block the sparring student. Okay, they're just taking it all. Okay. Well, they're down to two. So now we just gotta figure out how to do two more damage. Wow. Alright, how can we do two more damage? My life for the order. Looking into the future, I see purple. They're going to try to make this thing a 3-4, I guess maybe a 4-4. Four, four. There's always a way out. Go, floaty crystals! Because I don't get to play Zed plus Fey Guide next turn. Because we're only going to, we're going to have six, you know, it's turn six. I really want Zed plus Fey Guide. Yeah, I know their plans buff, buff up Sparklefly, but I can't do anything about that right now. I need to draw like retreat or um retreat or homecoming or something like that. See what we see. I only play one of these. And if I would have just only kept my homecoming, or if we would have drawn <laughs> retreat return. Yeah, I mean, this Sparkle Fly probably kills me. Right now, it looks like we're going to lose. They get to block with the, the Mentor of the Stones. It's going to die, so they're going to have all the shards. They're going to be able to buff up the Sparkle Fly even more. Like, we, if we if we don't draw Homecoming or Retreat Return, and really, it's just basically Homecoming now, 
Time is money. We probably lose. The Sparklefly, Mentor the Stones, Zenith Blade, all that combo, you know, the getting a 4 6 lifesteal, elusive. That's not really something our deck deals with very well. Okay, so we attack out. They block. They block here, here, by the hour. there. Go to one, go back to five. No, they block over here. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's just what it is. Yeah, butterflies look like they can be pretty strong. Yeah, we have three homecomings in the deck. Right, so like we're not we're not completely dead, like, but that's we gotta draw one. We also have a quicksand. Quicksand would have been really nice. So maybe maybe this fake guy just needs to be another retreat or quicksand. I don't know. Like that's that's what we need. We need a spell. Do good to keep my elusive blockers. Never loses because the is. Which is good. Fey Guide, maybe give Sivir elusive. Maybe block Sparklefly, but... Okay, Deny's useful. So Deny, at the very least, stops like Zenith Blade from making... Because the Sparklefly can, is going to have 6 health. This stops it from having 8 health. If I attacked with Sivir first, Sivir would have died to their, their Sparklefly. Their Sparklefly was a 4-6, my Sivir was a 5-3. So my Sivir would have just died right there. And, yeah, like that would have been the worst possible attack. That was like the only attack I couldn't make. Ugh. Dang. Now I can't kill Sparklefly. Yeah, now I can't kill this thing. It's too late for you. No, I don't have room. Business as usual. I guess maybe I need to like block with Sivir and then open attack. It's a Wait till after they have spell shield. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. Sparkle fly, too strong. Just couldn't have that one spell to help us out. You know, like that one quicksand retreat or homecoming earlier. Ah, oh, so close though. So close. Just big sparkle fly. That was about the only thing that I think really killed us there. So not a 5-0. Just only a 4-1, but the deck looked really good. Um, yeah, I liked it quite a bit. Uh, we didn't get to do any cool Dawn and Dust stuff. Um, but to be honest, like, this this early stuff looked really, really powerful. Like, maybe you don't need... Like, honestly, maybe just, like, Ruin Run... Like, to, to make this a more competitive deck, like, probably just replacing Ruin Runner and Dawn and Dusk. Like, Ruin Runner's maybe too slow, <laughs> which is crazy. 
uh, but it kind of seems like it, right? Because how fast this deck can go and how wide it can go right away. Because you can even, you can play like Navori Blade Scout also and, and have like another elusive uh, super cheap unit there also. I don't know. Yeah, I want to play some more more games with it with like with the Ruin Runners, but um, yeah, unfortunately I didn't get to do any cool Dawn and Dust stuff. Our opponents were just dead too too fast. I liked I liked Retreat a bunch, and I wouldn't mind in some more Quicksand. But you want to play you want to play lots of units with this kind of deck because you you definitely do not want a hand of spells where you're just like too slow because you just have too many spells. So you you really want like thirty units. Also playing Green Glade Elder definitely makes you want more units too because like that's if you saw like most of all those games our hands were just all units and that's why our hands were so strong is because because we were able to you know curve out really well and everything like that if you just have like a hand of just like some quicksands and retreats and like some and like Zed and Sivir like you're gonna be too slow. All right, so there we go. So that was some Sivir Zed. That was a, a fun deck to finish it out today and just yeah overall today just really fun decks that's what meme tier monday is about those of y'all on youtube leave those comments hopefully y'all really enjoyed all four of these decks today uh we had a lot of a uh, lot of really fun games and everything did some really cool stuff um so yeah hopefully y'all enjoyed it let me know y'all on youtube uh what do you want to see next week on meme tier monday which one of these were like were your favorite you know all that kind of stuff how'd you like the decks you know all that all right but that's it here for Siver zed so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.